All right guys, so I bought a used MacBook Pro 2019 and I need your guys' help figuring it out. Where I live, the closest Apple store is about three hours away. Um, and so I can't just run into an Apple store and you know have them sort it out. So I'm trying to resolve this on my own. So I, I bought this uh, used 2019 uh, MacBook Pro and I knew it had issues. So uh, the person selling it said that it just kept rebooting, uh, kept restarting. She wasn't a technical person. She was just trying to recoup some cost, whatever. And so I, I got it for a pretty decent price. And when I met her, the battery was dead. So I, I had a, a little charge pack and I was able to power it up and just make sure that the screen turned on and whatnot. And it, I was presented with uh, the question mark folder startup screen. And so I thought maybe just the OS needed to be reloaded or something. So I paid for it, I got it home. And as soon as I started the uh, option R, um, restart, it tried to recover from the internet. And so it went through that process, 10, 15 minutes, whatever, to download everything it needs. I finally got into where it would list the languages and the next screen I was hit with was the activation lock. Um, and so I was able to contact who I bought it from. And thankfully she was able to just go into her account on her phone, her, her Apple account on her phone and remove the device from her account and that removed the activation lock. Um, Unfortunately, while I was waiting for her to do that, the machine would just shut off. Uh, the fans will rev up and then the screen goes black and then it's back to the question mark folder screen. So another 10, 15 minutes waiting for internet recovery. I uh, get back to the language selection screen, um, get in and it checks for activation lock. This time, because she had removed it from her account, I was able to get to the next screen. And then I was presented with options of like the disk utility and reinstall the OS or recover, restore from a time machine backup. Uh, I don't know if she ever backed it up. So I just went to reinstall the OS and it will get through to a certain point and it looks like everything's working fine. And then it will just restart and fans rev up, screen goes black, back to the question mark folder screen. And so I don't know where to go from here, how to get past this. Um, one thing that I did learn that she didn't originally tell me is that the screen had been replaced. She had sent it off somewhere, screen was replaced. Uh, but I could never get a solid answer over text from her on whether it had ever worked since she got it back from that repair. Uh, she did send me a screenshot of her um, repair confirmation completion uh, from Apple. So it seems like maybe she sent it off to Apple to have it repaired there. Um, because the screenshot she sent me was an Apple URL um, and it said your, your device is being shipped back to you. Um, and now looking at, at the MacBook, I do notice that the lid of the MacBook is the darker gray color and the body is the lighter gray color, which I hadn't noticed that before. Uh, but I don't know if it's something with the new screen is causing some hardware issue. Uh, the other thing with the screenshot she sent me, it did have a 2021 date on the screenshot and so that was three years ago and so I would assume that it worked since she got it back but I can't confirm that and I kind of don't want to bother her uh, this late in the game anyway um, so I don't know where to go from here put a video here of what it's currently doing it'll go through the internet recovery uh, finally get to the reinstall OS screen everything looks good uh, except for the fact the Sequoia terms says no terms are found, but you still have to agree. So that's kind of weird. I don't know if that's normal for internet recovery things. Um, I will speed up sections of this because there are some pretty slow parts, uh, but I'll put some type of indication on the screen of when it's sped up, so.
uh, if you have any thoughts of what I can try next, um, I don't know if it's just overheating and shutting down. I don't know if there's a way that I can check logs or anything. Uh, my understanding is with the T2 security chip that unless the machine was explicitly set up to allow booting from some external disk, that that's just not an option for this T2 security chip. Um, so let me know what you think I can do to, to actually get this thing loaded up. As I mentioned, the closest Apple store is hours away. Uh, and I'm just not regularly uh, close to an Apple store. So uh, curious to see what you guys think. Till next time, we'll see you later.